another video. Back with another video. Back with another video. Back with another okay. video. <laughs> Always. So today we're going to be discussing the five key things that keeps our relationship going. Five key things that keeps our relationship going. <laughs> so if there's anything we missed or anything you guys think you can tell us to keep us going, comment down below, let us know. And please, please subscribe. Make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Turn your post notifications on because we're coming back with more videos. videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So um, we are going to talk about five ways that uh, help our relationship grow. Five things that we do that, you know, keep us together. Right. Mm -hmm. So far that we've been through that. And we're a young couple, so we don't have all the answers, but we're just telling you guys what works for us. Yeah. And if there's anything that works for you, let us know. So, you know keep us on the same page mm -hmm. so number first one things first. first things first pride pride i think um that's a big thing that is a big thing i think i'm the guy with a lot of pride but i have learned to push that pride aside and um you know show be transparent and say when i'm wrong and say you know I was wrong here. I did this. I did that. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on that. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I feel we all have like our pride when it comes to anything because like, just like he said, I'm the same way. Like I'll do things and I'll be like, I don't care. I'm not saying sorry mm -hmm. just because of pride. Mm -hmm. And when you really, really love a person, you just have to like think to yourself, like I really don't want to lose that person. So, mm -hmm. and it's like, is it him or is it my pride? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you really, really want to choose wow. that person. That's really good. So I feel like you need to like push oh. that aside. I like that that whole you got to kind of choose yeah. whether it's that person or the pride, mm -hmm. and like because you know it's there, but mm -hmm. you just don't want to fess up to it. So then you say, "Well, no, I'm going to choose this person over my pride mm -hmm. and say sorry." I love that. I love that. Right. I think. I think that's really dope. I, th I like the way you broke that down. I get a high five. High five. You get a kiss <laughs> on the cheek. <laughs> Number two. So the second thing we came up with is never try to change each other. Yeah, I think everybody is. like I, I know Sam is unique. Um, um, like example, I go to the gym a lot. And when I first met, well, not when I first met Sam, but... Um, when me and Sam got back together, um, she was really interested in yoga. So I wasn't going to try to push her to go to the gym with me. I wanted her to do her yoga. You know what I'm saying? And you could e I could have easily been like, no, come to the gym, come to the gym, come to the gym. But I seen that she wanted to do yoga. So I just pushed her to do her yoga while I went to the gym. And... Um. I just feel like never try to change the person and don't try to change yourself trying to please the person ooh, because ooh, that's then the that's how, yeah, yeah, I like that because that's, that's just how like you lose yourself. And then when you lose yourself, it's just like, what really is the point in the relationship? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been in a relationship where the person tried to change me and like try to do other try to convince me to do other things that I didn't want to do and at the end of the day I really seen myself like changing and it wasn't changing for the better it was changing for worse mm -hmm. so it's like it's a good thing like I snapped out of it and I'm like hold on wait like let me you know get a grip mm -hmm. and I just feel like you should never never try to do that to a person it, mm. it's just not good mm -hmm. and if you do try to change the person don't like try to change them like there's ways to make each other better yeah yeah i was gonna say that like mm -hmm. like don't change somebody but like you can push somebody to be better without changing who they are mm -hmm. like, uh, like i always tell the same like there's things like like pushing sam to go to yoga you know what i'm saying like she may not want to go to the gym but pushing her to go to yoga is making her better, but not changing who she is. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, accepting somebody for who they are is like, then you get to really love them for who they are and see their uniqueness. And I think 
that's super key in any relationship and for any relationship to work. Good thing. Mm -hmm. Acceptance. Acceptance. I like that. Number, Number three. three. <laughs> Number three is for us. Go ahead, boo. Never take each other for granted. Mm -hmm. Because. Oh, she's going to cry. It's okay. Um, don't take each other for granted because you don't want that person doing the things that they do for you for somebody else. Like, there's special things that Sam does for me that like, I'm like, yo, imagine if she was doing that for the next guy. I would, <laughs> I would be devastated. Um, and you kind of don't want that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to find that person. The love that that person gives you is like super unique. Like the love that Sam gives me is like super unique. So I got to make sure that I don't take that love for granted because if that love went to somebody else, I would be like, nah, if I had to watch her, you know, taking pictures with another guy or building with another guy, I would be dumb. For, I'd be devastated. You know what I'm saying? And I think when you think about that person and you say, man, what they bring to the table, I don't want to lose in the midst of your angriest moment or your saddest moment, you can go to that person like, you know what? I really love you. You know, I love everything you are because you don't want to wait till you're losing somebody to realize those things, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the big part about it. Never take each other for granted because you never know when you could lose that person. Mm -hmm. And just always show that person, like, that you love them. Mm -hmm. You know, like... Again, you just never know. You yeah. just never know. Yeah. So. You don't you don't want that, that love to go anywhere else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you got to treat it like it's special. Mm -hmm. I, we were having a conversation the other day. We were sitting down Fridays, you know, just chilling, just talking. And we was like, the love that I give to Sam is unique because I don't give that to anybody else. And the love she gives to me is unique because she doesn't give that to anybody else. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that car that you always wanted it's your car and sam's love is my love you know what i'm saying so i gotta cherish that because as soon as i don't cherish it that's when she'll be like oh he doesn't even care about my love so let me give my love to somebody else or she doesn't even care about my love so let me give my love to somebody else so appreciate that person and appreciate what they bring to the table and just always show the person that you care mm -hmm. like that's a big part about it um, sometimes we get into these relationships where it's like, oh, I don't want to show him that I like him too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that's always been a big mm -hmm. thing. Like, I don't show, if you're with somebody that you really, really like and you really, really love, show it to them. Mm -hmm. Show it to them because I feel like when you do that, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm with somebody and this person is showing me that they don't really care to be with me at times and they mm -hmm. don't really care to do things I do, then at the end of the day, I'm going to think this person doesn't care and then that's when it's going to be like, all right, I think, you know, we need to split. But always show the person you care. Show them, show them. And then at the end of the day, if you decide this person is not for me, then all right, then so be it. But just always, like, never hold back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I think the holding back is what messes up relationships mm -hmm. sometimes. I think... Sammy's like Sammy's superpower is loving very very hard and as you can see she's crying because that's who she is like she loves very very hard so when she thinks about certain things you know she cries you know what I'm saying because that's who she is I call it her superpower because everybody can't do it but if you get into a relationship and you love that person hard and they don't appreciate that then I don't think that person is for you anyway mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. the person that's for you is a person who you're gonna go into the relationship and you're gonna love them hard and they're gonna appreciate that and in return they're gonna love you back right mm -hmm. true right mm -hmm. because you could go into a relationship love somebody hard you don't even appreciate that joint they yeah. just hurt you they take kind of take advantage of that you know yeah. what I'm saying and you don't want the type of person so once somebody doesn't realize your love just run like go fast like move away from that person you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying so number four <laughs> So number four is date night for us, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like date night is a big part for me because I love to talk, and I like to drink wine, and I just love to talk, and I love good conversation. I've never really been in a relationship with someone where I could sit down and just talk and talk and talk and vent 
to. And now that I have that, I'm kind of just like, babe, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's do this. Let's because I love to talk to him. Mm -hmm. And he actually listens. And I'm not just saying this because like he's my boyfriend, but he does listen and he does give me ideas and he does like really push me to do better things, you know? Mm -hmm. I think date night. At first, it was like, yo, because I'm not the person who likes, she likes to go out. Mm -hmm. I don't really like going out, but um, in order to make your relationship work, sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do all the time. Sometimes she does stuff that she doesn't want to do, so our relationship works. So I'm like, you know, always sacrifice. But date night is like a staple. We go out every single week, whether it's just to get a glass of wine or to get some tea or some coffee, Appetizers, anything. Like, it, don't need, anything. It, doesn't even have to be, it doesn't even have to be expensive. Mm -hmm. like, sometimes even for go, a walk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we go out and we spend like $15. Yeah. And put, you know, like Sammy likes to sit down. Like you guys don't understand when she means sit down, like we'll be sitting there for like hours, like four, five, six hours sometimes. And I'll be like, Sammy, I have to go to work tomorrow. And she'll be like, She'll get upset at me, but she understands. She just yeah. wants to stay out there. I just, um, she loves it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I think that date night has built our communication. It has really made us best friends. Um, it really let me see who she is by our conversations. And it really let me see who I am right. by our conversations. I don't even mean to cut you off, but remember our first date, mm -hmm. Red Lobster? How long did we sit? Like seven hours and like, we talked but and i we talked. did not know that this would be like it would be like that forever like no. we would be outside for seven hours yeah. like seven <laughs> hours every week but um we spoke that first day and mm -hmm. i really got to know her and i really got to see something inside of her that um i was like yo i love that like and i was just i was so like eager to pull that specialness like that uniqueness out of her and um we talked, man. We talked, and she cried, and I was just like, man. <laughs> and then, it, like, we started doing it so much that it got to the point where he was like, babe, where are we going? Like, mm -hmm, where are we going mm -hmm. to sleep? Oh, I want to go here. Yeah, let's go here <laughs> yeah. and eat. And I was just like, oh, because, like, now he likes it, and now it's, like, our thing. Like, mm -hmm, so to I, just take that time out of the week and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. sit down and, like, catch mm -hmm, up, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so I take, like, a chunk of time. Or, like, I set a day aside where I make sure I have nothing to do so I can just spend that time with Sammy, you know? And then, it's like, that kind of, like, makes me... No, not even kind of. That makes me feel special. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, he still wants to date me, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. He still wants like for, to take me out. forever dating her, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, so I think that is, like, really special in our relationship. And that's one of the key things that allows us to stay connected. Because we could be mad at each other for days. Mm -hmm. One Sunday comes, we sit wherever we sit or we walk. Or the walks are like epic. We walk for like 10 miles. Yeah. And like <laughs> yeah. we just talk and we're exercising and we're, we're you know, we go get like coffee or whatever we go get and we just Dunkin', walk. Dunkin', Dunkin'. Like we walk to Dunkin' Donuts. We just have fun, man. Mm -hmm. And, and the, Chipotle. Chipotle, <laughs> yeah. Hot no sauce. pepper, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, I mean... That's just our thing, like date night. Date night's it, our thing. It just always, even like when we're having a rough week or anything, that one like night or time spent, it just always makes everything better. Because mm -hmm. like, we're not perfect and we do have no. rough days, we yeah. do have rough weeks, we do have times where it's like, yo, get away from me, yeah, don't I touch can't me. Stand you. Like, leave me alone, yeah. I'm going to the gym, or she's like, I'm going out. But we push the side, the pride aside. Side, but we put the pride aside. And. We that, have our dates. Mm -hmm. We always have our dates. We have chat we've had date night every week for mm -hmm. since forever since we've been together. So number five. So number five is always have fun. Always have fun. Always, always, always have fun. I think that's super key. Mm -hmm. Um sometimes like we'll just be like hanging out watching a movie joking on each other mm -hmm. we don't even have to like be anywhere doing anything mm -hmm. just be sitting down like clowning clowning each other. jokes play fighting yeah pillow um, fights all of that even one of the reasons why we did youtube was to just have fun right you know what i'm saying i think a lot of people do this oh let's just get paid let's 
And you know, you wanna you wanna make it but I think we just wanna make an impact and yeah. we just wanna have fun. And the thing is, ever since we started this YouTube, like I've been having fun doing all these videos. Yeah. Like all of these videos. Mm -hmm. Like we've done so we have so many videos <laughs> in the archives that we haven't even put out, but like doing them, putting lights up and recording and editing, the whole process is like yeah. super fun. When it comes to like recording days, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Because it is really fun. Mm -hmm, it is really mm -hmm. fun. And then the feedback from you guys sometimes is so interesting. I'm like, mm -hmm. what did he say? What did she say? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. So, you know, I just really like it. And It's, it's a fun journey. Like, we, every single subscriber counts to us. Every single view counts to us. Mm -hmm. And we're not saying that because it's small. But even if we get to hundreds, mm -hmm. thousands, and millions, it's like every single person matters. And, you know, we, we talk about, like, doing giveaways and... How can we be more impactful and how can we be more entertaining? And how can we be more fun? Mm -hmm. And it always goes back to like, yo, let's just have fun, you know? And if we're having fun, then we'll always record great videos, you know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. number five, man. Five is just have fun. So, have fun, fun, fun. Have a lot of fun, fun, fun. <laughs> um, and number six for uh, a bonus. Get some little sticky notes and write some little <laughs> sweet messages to your boo boo. Um, the we little do things, that a lot. the little things matter. So yeah. we kind of just get sticky notes and we write messages, whether it's messages to inspire, to encourage, to show the person that you love them. The little things matter, man. So mm -hmm. always focus on the little things, especially you fellas. Focus on the little things. Take mm -hmm. care of our heart. Um, so if you guys liked our video, please subscribe hit that thumbs up button mm -hmm. subscribe share this share this video with somebody that you think is going to help um, mm -hmm. we really just made this video just to help people um, and just to show what we do to keep our relationship together so share this video and let us know like if we missed any things what we can do to make our relationship even better you what? know if you have some ideas or how how it works for you yeah you so know? let us know how it works for you let us know if implementing our rules helped you um because that's all we want to do is just help people um so we love you guys we love you guys thank you so much for watching our video the and sam, sam fam forever, forever. you already know <laughs> bye guys so